Thanks for joining us here on KTTC. I'm Cami Raisler, and we are live. You might be wondering, what in the world am I watching right now? Well, it's a special 4 p.m. preview show. We're previewing two things. We're previewing the Field of, Gr Field of Dreams game that is happening tonight, the second MLB game to ever happen in Iowa. And we're also... We are also announcing a new show that's coming to KTTC come September. It's called Midwest Access, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. This will be a half-hour special, so you might be wondering also why I have so many things in my hand. Well, it's because we're going to give you a few different perspectives of the field of dreams that you can see behind me. It's going to be a fun half-hour, so I hope you'll stick with us as we talk about our launch to this Midwest Access show, and we also talk about the big game happening tonight. All right, we have our photographer, Micah. He's with us right now, Micah, why don't we show some of the crowd that's already showed up here ready for the game. It's the Cubs taking on the Reds. Oh, they're saying go Cubs. People are excited and ready for another game here at the Field of Dreams. This is the Field of Dreams movie site here just outside of Dyersville, Iowa. We have some folks. Where are you guys from? Houston, Texas. You're from Houston, Texas? Oh, I thought you were saying KTDC like you knew us. You're from Houston, and you're up here for the game? Just, that's right. Yep, okay, absolutely. what do you what do you think? Is this your first time here? First time here. First time. What do you think of what you've seen so far? I know you just oh, walked in. Just fantastic. Incredible. Fantastic. Incredible. Incredible. Why are you here? Are you cheering on a certain team? Well, just to come watch the game. Yeah. yeah. And be part of the Field of Dreams from that movie event, really. Okay, so you're not from Iowa. How'd you get your tickets? Uh, Top secret information? Exactly. <laughs> Do you know who Tom Arnold is? No. I'm his stunt double. Oh, okay. So. We're, just, we're just waiting for the Astros to come play here. At least I am. Hey, so. Astros twins. Let's get that in the future, okay? Yeah, Enjoy good. the time here, guys. All right. Thanks for man. chatting with me. Impromptu interviews. Why not? It's a great time here at the Fields of Dreams movie site. Again, that game happening tonight. The Cubs taking on the Reds. So we have to talk about the uniforms because there are some cool uniforms for this evening, dating all the way back to the 19... 19s, 1920. The Cubs and Reds both are wearing retro uniforms tonight. Bob, if you want to take that video, we have some video of the uh, the uniforms that they'll be wearing. And actually, something unique, you can see the logo on the hat, on both hats, and that logo is actually in the corn here this afternoon. And there's a little corn maze that folks can check out and maybe uh, not get lost in. So that's something unique that's happening today as well. And you'll probably see a drone fly over. Um, of that corn maze because that's something pretty special. All the aerial shots with the corn here because the corn makes this game and it's so important that they've had good weather in Iowa so they're really excited about that. So I have my hands full as you can see but we're gonna take a little take a little wander over here because there are a lot of people having a catch like they say in the movie so a lot of people enjoying the original field that was on the movie the field of dreams that movie shot back in 1988 it of course came out in 1989 Kevin Costner the main star of that film Ray Liotta he was who played Shoeless Joe Jackson in that film and he actually just passed away two and a half months ago so they are going to be tributing him here tonight before the game. I know Kevin Costner posted on Instagram earlier this week about Ray Liotta and how he played such an integral part of this movie, playing Shoeless Joe Jackson, of course, Joe Jackson, the famous baseball player. He played for the White Sox and was banned from the MLB in 19, right after the 1919 World Series that was actually played against the Cincinnati Reds. So Ray Liotta played Shoeless Joe Jackson in that movie and they will be tributing him tonight. So I think Bob and Derek, if you guys are ready, let's give people a little different perspective of what we have going on here, okay? So you're gonna, I'm gonna drop my glove. Hopefully someone doesn't take it. We're gonna, <laughs> we're just rolling here, okay? <laughs> let's give you a look of the Field of Dreams field. I don't know who this guy is. Frog. Oh, is, the, is he the Geico? Is that the Geico Gecko? Okay, the Geico Gecko, he's here. <laughs> and we have folks taking pictures here on third base. We have kids playing catch. And we have a lot of vendors here as well. They were giving away free sweet corn earlier. I think Micah grabbed some sweet corn. It was delicious. Hey, how's it going? She's getting some videos too. <laughs> a lot going on here. I want to take you out if I can get us out here. I know Micah's getting trampled here by people. And we also have to watch for people missing. I don't know how good everyone is at catching. I don't want them to <laughs> them to hit us. He doesn't even have a glove. <laughs> no gloves. No, not needed. A lot of folks playing catch out here on the original Field of Dreams. Again, the corn in the outfield here. And if you look way off in the distance, you can see the uh, 
the field that they'll be playing on tonight. So a lot of fun out here. A lot of people already here. Again, there was a lottery for tickets. Folks in Iowa were first to grab some of those tickets. So a really big event for them because they don't get MLB games every year. Okay, Micah, we're going to head over here to the corn. This is how the fans get to the game. They don't have their hands full necessarily with a microphone and camera. However, they get to go into the corn to check out the field. And I do think we have... We'll get to the corn here, and then I think we have Zach Fuller and Nick Jansen, both baseball fans as well. They are in studio here. We'll chat with them shortly because I think, I don't know, but I think they might be a little bit jealous that they aren't out here, and it's actually beautiful out. There's a little breeze, and it's not too hot. There's a drone overhead. There was actually a helicopter flying earlier, and it had a sign, Field of Dreams game. Okay, Mike, are you ready to go through the corn? Okay, we're going to go through the corn just to show you. This is how the fans get in to the game. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's pretty neat. You check out the corn, some good Iowa corn. And there's a little pathway. And you take this all the way around to the big stadium that is over yonder. It's a little bit of a trek, so we'll maybe make our way over there throughout this broadcast. And I really hope that you're enjoying if you if you couldn't make it out here. <laughs> I hope that you're enjoying some of these visuals that we're showing you because it's so special. If you've seen the movie or checked out the Field of Dreams, um, if you've been here, if you've checked out the movie site, it's so special to see all these people here, including some of the MLB players. So I think we have Nick and Zach. I am hot, you guys. It is, I, I know I said it's really nice out here, but walking around, it's whew, I'm sweating, but it's really nice out here. <laughs> And you know, and, and she just mentioned a second ago of how we're probably jealous, right? Yeah, very I, jealous. Yeah, she she I, did not invite us. No, we were not invited. We were invited to, to stand in the studio and watch and kind of participate. Yeah, yeah, and I will say, help. though, I will say, I, I was a little, a little bit more jealous last year when yeah, she was there. For sure. When my Yankees were playing yeah. than this year with the Cubs and the Reds. Yeah, agreed. Well, I'm a Pirates fan, so these two teams are definitely not my favorite. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's going to be a fun game. We'll, we'll watch. It'll be a good time. Cammy, before we kind of get into weather here, because I have a little forecast for Dyersville, too. Uh, a radar was showing Perfect. maybe some rain just to the west. Have you seen any type of dark clouds or anything like that on the horizon? It looks pretty sunny where you're at. We did, we did earlier, but not right now. So we're hoping it stays dry. I know I was out here last year, and the day before the event, it stormed pretty, pretty good. The porta potties were tipped over. There was mud everywhere, but they still made it happen, and it was dry for the event last year. So we're hoping for another dry event here today. There are fireworks after the show. There's actually a concert after the show as well. So yeah, I mean, a little shower won't hurt anyone, but we don't see any dark clouds at the moment. <laughs> All right. Well, that's perfect because I do think the rain will stay to the west. Let's go ahead and take a look at a forecast here uh, for Dyersville uh, this evening, and, and really, it should be perfect type of weather uh, for a baseball game coming up tonight. So temperatures right now, Cammy said it is very comfortable outside. It's currently at 74. We have winds out of the east, so winds not playing a major role here at 7 miles per hour. Dew points are in the mid-60s. And again, when you have humidity, when you have dew points in the mid-60s, that mm -hmm. means your air is less dense. Okay, so when we have more moisture in the air, it's actually less dense. Maybe we can get some home run balls like we had last year with Stanton, with Judge, and then, of course, Tim Anderson to walk it off. There was that little stray shower that was just to the west of Dyersville, so I think we end up staying dry for the Field of Dreams game here coming up tonight. Most of the shower activity, even here at home, We've stayed dry in Rochester because this is all right along a stationary boundary. So it's tracking Mason City, Waterloo, and then down towards Iowa City. So I do think we end up staying dry. Right here I marked where Dyersville is at. So most of the rainfall will continue to remain to the west here. Here's a look at your forecast then for the Cubs and the Reds. Field of Dreams game, first pitch, 615 coming up tonight. Temperatures, well, we'll start things off at about 77, so we'll keep those temperatures mid-70s, and then we'll ride right through the mid-70s through the rest of the evening. We'll have some sunshine. Winds will be at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, so, I mean, honestly, perfect, perfect type conditions coming up for the Field of Dreams game. And although I, I think last year, I mean, weather didn't play a role. Cammy said we had showers and thunderstorms before the game, but didn't play a role uh, during the game by any means. So, That's right. good news there, right? Yeah, we had the balls flying out. You know, Cammy said she's sweating. The corn's probably going to be sweating too. Hopefully we get some home run balls into the corn tonight, that's for sure. Yeah, last year it was so fun. Were there seven, seven or eight last year? It was amazing. And three in the ninth inning. I know Nick Jansen wasn't totally happy about that third one in the ninth <laughs> inning last year with the walk-off by the White Sox. 
That was fun to watch in studio. Sorry to bring it up. Let me tell you. Yeah, I think I was. I'm pretty sure I was screaming. That was all sad Britain too. I don't remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, it was terrible. I'm sure Nick was quiet as a mouse. Yes, yes. We all know Nick. He never says a word. Never. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I will check back in with you shortly. Again, this is a half-hour special here on KTTC. We are previewing the Field of Dreams games game as well as Midwest Access. It's a brand-new show that we will be debuting in September, and we're going to tell you more about that coming up here a little bit later on. I want to give you another look here at the people that are coming into the game. And uh, there's a lot of folks stopping, taking pictures, and they're checking out the corn. The corn looks good. The crop looks good this year. I have a little corn cob here with me. There's a bug on it, though. We don't want that. I'll, I'll help the farmer out and take the bug off there. But a lot. I am. Hey, where are you from? Texas. Austin. Texas. Well, I just met another person from Texas. You guys are coming up from Texas? Why are you here? You got to show them how it's done here. Yeah. Yeah. Ritz fans. Yeah, go. So did you buy tickets from someone? A resale? Oh, yeah. You yeah, did? Yeah. And yeah. you came all the way up here for the Field of Dreams game? Yeah, we did it. We, uh, we hit the World Series every year. We got 12 in a row. And uh, the... Uh, Major League All-Star game. We got seven of them in a row. So, so are you an Astros fan? Uh, no. Or are you a Rangers fan? Rangers. Oh, okay. I'm a Twins fan, and the Twins play the Rangers coming up here. So, okay. <laughs> Hopefully my Twins win, but I don't know. They're not doing that well right now. Go that far with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope that you enjoy your time. Thanks for stopping and talking with me. We have a lot more coming up. There's a lot of people excited to be here and have made long trips to be here near Dyersville for the Field of Dreams game. We'll be right back, all right, right after this. A sectional is one of the most versatile pieces of furniture you can own. At Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, our design staff will help you create a room for the way you live. It might be where you relax in a reclining sectional or a sophisticated room which is comfortable yet elegant. Choose a sectional that fits you from power recline with power headrest to unique shades or bumper styles. We'll help you find the right features for any room shape. Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota voted your favorite furniture store. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Hi, folks. Medicare Part C plans with extra benefits like getting money added back to your Social Security check may now be available to you in your zip code. Make sure you're not missing out. It's simple. One, call the number on your screen. Two, they'll look up your zip code and see if you're eligible. Three, they'll check for plans with extra benefits like prescriptions, dental coverage, and the benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every single month. Call now. I call to get everything I deserve. I call to check my zip code for a plan with a benefit that adds money back to my Social Security check. I call to check my zip code. Millions of people have called the Medicare Coverage Helpline. Call, check your zip code, see if you're eligible, and get what you deserve. Call now. Call 1-800-478-7400. That's 1-800-478-7400 now. This is where every ninja wants to be. National Finals, baby. What? One ended. And look at that. Trying to kill me up here, man? American Ninja Warrior, Monday on NBC. Capital One College Bowl. I'm pumped up. All right, pace yourself, bro. Rival colleges competing for $1 million in scholarships. I'm your host, Quiz Show King. No comment. Capital One College Bowl, Fridays this fall on NBC. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on KTTC for a half hour special. We are previewing a new Midwest Access show as well as the Field of Dreams MLB game happening in Iowa. It's the second MLB game to ever happen in Iowa. First pitch is at 6.15. You can catch it over on our sister station, Fox 47. It's a big event here in Iowa. It's beautiful weather. As you can see behind me, a lot of people are making their way into 
the corn because that's how you get to the big stage for the game tonight. So a lot happening here just outside of Dyersville. They actually have new ownership. They've had new ownership for the past uh, eight-ish years, but now they are making moves, and they're going to be renovating this quite a bit. There's actually not going to be a Field of Dreams game next year. That has been confirmed by Frank Thomas, who is part owner of this area, and they are actually going to build some youth complexes over here. Mike, if you want to just show right over here, beyond this corn, there's a little bit of a hill. They're going to leave that corn standing so that it still feels nice and quiet and secluded here. But then on the other side, they're going to build a youth sports complex. So there are going to be a lot more games happening just outside of Dyersville here at the Field of Dreams movie site. And to my left back here where those cars are parked, they're actually going to build a hotel. So some folks not totally happy about this. Other folks very happy that they're going to be bringing in more people to this area. A great boost for the tourism industry. So there's two sides of that coin, and I think all of us can see both sides. But definitely some drastic changes that will be taking place here at the Field of Dreams movie site in the near future. After this game, not immediately after, but later this year, they're actually starting that construction. So some changes happening here. So you, you probably are joining us and wondering what in the world all this woman's doing is talking about baseball. We have to talk about Midwest Access. That's why we're doing this show, because we want to preview what's to come in September weekdays from 4 to 5 on KTTC. It's a brand new show called Midwest Access. We're going to be highlighting many of the big things happening in the Midwest, and we're so excited to bring some of these stories to you. We'll have live shows like what we're doing right now. We'll go to great places like the Field of Dreams movie site to showcase what's happening in some of these areas. We have a story that I want to share with you, and it's all about our upcoming show, Midwest Access. So we use uh, white oak for all of our smoking, so oak's in the name there. Um, it's the closest we can get to what they use in the south um, and in Texas. I mean, I'm biased, but this is this is the best barbecue in town here, so um, I think it's one of the better joints in the whole state, so I can't really find a lot of Texas-style original you know, committed to that process here. For those traveling with kids, this is something you have to check out. The Austin Artwork Center offers $5 Saturday morning art classes. I'm talking full-blown art classes for kids. Come check it out. I love art. Um, I was born with autism, but I wasn't diagnosed with it since um, last year. Um, and there's a lot of paintings down here. It makes me feel like I belong. The fun thing about the Spam Museum is we try to enjoy this space. So we have Spam ambassadors who are ambassadors for the Spam brand who walk around with samples. Have you tried it before? Uh-uh. Oh, okay, you have to tell me what you think. Hold on. How old are you, Gavin? Five. Okay, so Gavin's going to do a little fishing. Are you going to put the line over the wall into the water? We are at the Possibilities Tent. So we offer a lot of different things for families. Um, I would say the zoo is the most exciting part, mostly for families. It's a small Minnesota native animal zoo. Uh, we also have picnic shelters for picnicking. It's like, it's like, it's like a baby snake, doesn't it? Here we are at the International Owl Center, right along Cedar Street in Houston, Minnesota. It's a one-of-a-kind place. Let's take a look inside. This is a great way for us to get started in an old department store. It's not ideal. Our birds all live off-site. So you probably saw some places there that maybe you visited around southern, southeastern Minnesota. A lot of great things happening in our community, and we want to share that and bring that to you live on broadcast every day come September 12th, weekdays that is, from 4 to 5 p.m. So it's a brand new show, Midwest Access. I'll be the host. If you watched that and you thought, hey, she needs to come highlight this place, give us a call. You can email us, too, as well. You can hit me up on Twitter or Facebook, news at kttdc.com. 
gmail.com. You can send an email that way. And just let us know some big things that you have coming up. And we are going to be doing a lot of live interviews. We'll also be going places and showcasing some fun events like the one I'm at right now. Again, I'm in Dyersville, Iowa, just outside of Dyersville, Iowa what it's most known for at the Field of Dreams movie set. Of course, this movie shot in 1988. It debuted in 1989. Kevin Costner, the main star of that film. And it's been a favorite, a baseball favorite for more than 30 years. You can see behind me some folks here. I'm going to go pester, I think, one of these guys over here. We have some ghost players. We have some ghost players here chatting with the kiddos, having a good time playing catch talking to the kids about baseball. What better way to spend your day than to have a catch, as they say in the movie, at the Field of Dreams movie site. All right, they're chatting. Let's go pester these folks over here. Can I bother you guys? We're live on TV right now, and I want to talk to a ghost player. I'm a ghost. Okay, first of all, I have to ask you, are you hot in this thing? It is really hot, and you can tell I don't know how to use sunscreen. <laughs> well, at least you have a hat on. Yes, it's helping a bit. I got yeah. Hey, that's good. In Iowa, that's perfect. That's what you need, right? So we're talking about the Field of Dreams movie, and some folks are here. Maybe they didn't see the movie. Explain Explain why you're dressed your, the way you are tonight. Uh, there was eight ball players from the White Sox in 1919 that were kicked out of baseball by the commissioner because they maybe gambled away or were you know, lost on purpose type thing. So it was a gambling thing. And then with the movie, the idea was that those guys had a place to play when the field was built and they all appeared magically. And it's a father-son story that um, I think it hits everybody. In, at home or in the heart. Are you from Dyersville? I no. I grew up in Marengo, Iowa. Okay. I was actually in the movie. I, uh, was whoa, whoa, whoa! You were in the movie. I'm yeah. talking to a superstar yeah. here. Well, not quite that. I played first base. I had an old Philadelphia A's uniform on. I was 27, so it's been a few years. But here, 34 years later, to see what this has turned into. Back then, the corn enveloped us. We were just ball players wanting to play ball. Yeah. And all the actors, everybody was such a great six weeks of being here um never thought it would grow into this so i picked the perfect guy to chat with here you have to tell me what was it like to work with kevin costner and some of the major stars ray liotta and being here when they were shooting the movie they were all awesome we were just ball players and extras but i do have one costner story the scene where he's at first base and he's with his wife and kid and the guy that was playing his dad wasn't there that day so i was there for them to look at taking a catcher gear off and on it was a hot day they sent us away and said we got to fix this so i sat with costner on that porch for an hour wow. and in that conversation i asked him the obligatory how do you like iowa and he said here you trust people till they maybe show they're not trustworthy. He said most places you don't trust people till they are trustworthy. And I told him, I said, you think I think he hit that one on the nose. Wow. So wow, that's great. What a great comment about Iowa. And thank you so much for sharing your story. You Phenomenal. Thank Enjoy you. your time here tonight. Thanks for I chatting know. with us. I'm a little kid again. I love it so much. And yeah, maybe get some sunscreen. We can work on that. <laughs> All right, so we will have so much more coming up from the Field of Dreams game. We do have to take a break. We'll be right back. It's divinely inspired. I freak you out. The most fascinating daytime viewing around. The Drew Barrymore Show. Weekdays, 3 p.m. In southeast Minnesota and northern Iowa, we all know how quickly the weather can change. Download the free KTTC Weather Authority mobile app and turn on notifications to make sure you're notified when conditions are changing. View forecast videos exclusively customized for your area. Hour-by-hour -hour forecast, high-resolution radar. You can even submit your pictures to us, too. Download the free KTTC Weather Authority mobile app. It's built just for you. Hours and thunderstorms continue Friday all the way through Sunday. It's the back-to-school sale at America's Mattress. Get your little ones the sleep they need to perform their best. Twin Mattress, just $199. Or optimize your sleep with a new Serta. Queen Mattress, just $399. The back-to-school sale at America's Mattress. Nobody beats our prices. Nobody. I'm in pain always, all the time. I wasn't able to stand for more than a minute or two. Chronic pain is a complex problem, and people often have physical and psychological problems associated with chronic pain. I'm Dr. David Schultz. I'm the founder and medical director of Neuro Pain Clinic. We're able to provide better patient care because they can get everything for their entire care team all at one place. We have the most advanced interventional pain management tools anywhere. 
It's really very gratifying to take someone who's failed surgeries and injections and medication management and to make that life better. It's kind of like a dream, you know, where it gave me back my life. We will listen to you. We'll come up with what we think is the best possible plan. We can make things better, and we're not going to give up until we do that. I don't live in chronic pain anymore. Take control of your pain today. Call us at 507-414-8999 or visit us at neuroclinics.com. Hey there, I'm Bill Schertz, the man about the world. And I'm Laura Shera. Join us on Minnesota Bound for outdoor stories and more. On KTTC-TV in Rochester. Nobody can read between the lies like Judge Judy. A good night's rest can make your day. And at America's Mattress, we'll show you the way. At America's Mattress, the largest selection of Serta and Beauty Rest. The best prices, a comfort guarantee, even pre delivered. America's Mattress, nobody beats our prices. Welcome back. We are live at the Field of Dreams game in Iowa. And we already had one person call into the newsroom about it. We have to share with you a local tie, a Rochester tie to the original movie. You Moonlight Graham? No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. It's this character that portrays Archibald Moonlight Graham in the movie Field of Dreams. He has about a total of one inning in Major League Baseball. He didn't even come to bat at all. Graham played for the New York Giants. And then when they were sending him back down to the minors, he instead chose to go to medical school. And with his love for medicine, he settled in Chisholm, Minnesota. He was the school physician here for several decades. So there are whole generations of kids who knew him as Doc Graham, not the baseball player, but as the friendly physician who would administer their uh, vaccination shots every, every school year. And one of those young children was Jane Commodore. When I was about six, I became very, very ill with the measles and I was confined to the house in the dark. And Dr. Graham came every day and made house calls. And I remember waking up and he was sitting on the chair next to me, holding my hand, telling me that I was going to be okay. Now, Moonlight Graham was 89 years old when he died in Chisholm, Minnesota, but he's buried here at the Calvary Cemetery next to his wife here in Rochester. He was a very kind, generous, caring person. And his role in the movie reflected his real life. Wouldn't work for me one day, boy. I feel that he gave people in their life, that field of dreams, that hope to come from a small town, maybe to come from a poor background. And when you hear the words, if you build it, they will come, that's how he was. A really cool connection that we had to share with you. Okay, we have a lot more coming up. Let's take a break, though. We'll be right back. You don't want to cook? I understand. Give me a call. We deliver the goods right to your house. Our pies start with handmade dough, use the freshest ingredients, contain the perfect pinch of spices, and are smothered in 100% real cheese. This combination makes your pizza come alive. Let us deliver dinner to your family tonight. When the family's happy, I'm happy. Godfather's Pizza. Do it. Come in now to the Land of Dreams construction sale. We know getting to us is a challenge, so we're offering up some special deals on mattresses throughout the store. Right now, get a King Memory Foam mattress for just $9.99 with a free adjustable base upgrade. Plus, store-wide, we have mattresses on sale up to 60% off. Get free sheets, mattress protector, and pillows, plus free local delivery on all qualifying purchases. There's partial parking on 6th Street and parking behind the store. Hurry in. Don't miss out on these deals. ABC Toy Zone is Rochester's best destination for any season, occasion, holiday, or birthday. Locally owned, you're not just getting gifts for your loved ones, you're also bringing love and hope to our community. Right now, you can order online at abctoyzone.com, or you can order by email, schedule a curbside pickup, go the traditional route and shop in store, or schedule an appointment to shop before opening hours. Located in the Miracle Mile, stop by ABC Toy Zone for all your gift-giving needs. 
All right, 6.15 is first pitch. Nick and Zach, I pick Joey Votto and the Reds. Ooh, I like it. I'm taking the Reds, too. All right, I'll be the one to take the Cubs. Oh, I'll play both you. No, I would, I would rather have the Reds win, though, but I'll take the Let's Cubs. Let's go, Reds. Just to go against you guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's all from us. Midwest Access coming up in September. Hey.